a few questions have been asked about my ships, but well, you know, why have I got so much space in them? It's mostly, I know it adds extra weight and maneuverability, but it's mostly so I can have a good paint scheme. That's literally it. Some of my stuff is uh, visual over aesthetics. Oh, I've missed a little marker just there, look at that. You can tell on the other ships because that was uh, gantry. But mostly on this one now, we're going to be testing out uh, wolf pack tactics, as you can see. So I'm trying out different ships. I have uh, EMP ones, I have laser based ones. But as you can see, I'm testing them out. We have obviously longer range lasers. We'll have longer range lasers and EMP based stuff being pushed around. And we're going to do a little bit of a test. Where are my raiders? Are you still a raider? A little bit of a test by trying them out on lower level areas. A little itty bitty bit of death is going to happen, and it's all going to happen super soon. So we have loads of Infernium frigates, uh, they've all been dropped down to frigate level. And we've got two raiders, they'll be the ones carrying supplies. But we're going to test wolf pack tactics. Let's get our moider on. Oh yes, there's going to be a little itty bitty bitty bit, bit of death. Bitty 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 bit of death. That's getting weird. Let's do this. One thing I should mention as my fleet slowly moves into position interesting is we are one step away god a lot of bounties he used to do one step away from being at war of the fringe systems resistance what does that mean uh, it means if i hit any more of their stuff the next wave of bounty ships will immediately spawn how do i know this testing i've tried to build a brand new carrier it did not go well but i did try okay so here's a proper bit of testing how do our ships do against you know Action engagements. This is a tier 6. These ships aren't the best builds I've ever done, but they are still builds. What we got? Okay, let's go. So we are straight up trying to kill these guys. Now, I don't really know how the targeting is going to go, because most of these ships are basically, you know, the same bloody thing. Wait, what? Oh yeah, this beam is still beaming. So you're the raider, because you don't really have much in the way of combat gear. You're also a raider. Okay, go straight forward, take out of that. Use your more powerful engines. Okay, you three are engaging there. Infernal Frigate, push on round. There we go, so yeah. As you can see, EMP is still an issue. It does take out the shields pretty fast, which is why I'm using multiple groups. These are not designed as standalone assault frigates. At all. Which means some of them are going to lose stuff. Like, I think the crystal on this one is dead. They are ranged support. Oh, good. They are ranged support assault ships. And that's where they're going to stay. Range, support, assault. So some of the ships have 16 men, some of the ships have 14 men, some of the ships have uh, 20 men. I'm testing to see what's effective. So I think this one has, what, 18? Yeah. And the cannon's having issues. So this actual structure is getting in the way of weapon systems, giving my ships more survivability. How's the toothpick the one which survives? So yeah, this uh, superstructure, not only does it look okay, it's actually giving my ship survivability. So the wolf pack tactics work against tier 1s. Who'd have thought that? Yeah, no one saw that coming. My 190k ships survive against 60k ships. Who'd have thunk it? However, we do need to test against something else. Against other tier stuff, it's going to get difficile. Now, I want to grab all of this. We're going to have to bring in the carrier. The carrier is still ugly. I apologise for it. It will always remain ugly. You go to there. We're going to target against another ship. Let's do a target against... Tier 5, nearest tier 5. Where are you? 
against you. Let's give it a test against the Hellion. Field test number two. Got the pirate base we'll have to kill over here. That'll be field test number three. Now, obviously, all these being a modular style design, obviously, could change the engines without the edges. I don't know what they're at the front. Obviously, the beams are good for longer range assault ships. They aren't very effective against missiles and so on because the point defense is on the side. I could move the point defense to the front as have a point defense frigate. And I might actually have a look at that, actually, have point defense stuff. But we will, in fact, have to see. We will definitely have to see. However, this could be a complete death of this small fleet. We don't really know how well we can do against actual proper targets. So yeah, some of these are probably going to die. I'm wrong for it. Obviously, if they die, they die. Because my ships are fast. They can escape, they can engage. But they seem to be doing okay, honestly. They do seem to be doing okay, so I'll take that. And they're going after this Raider Infernium for some reason. Oh, it's fast enough. Okay, turn, 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 turn. We're about to lose this ship, I think. If the crystal goes, that's expensive. If the engines go, that's more expensive. I think I have enough crystals. And the Hellion is down. So my fleet can destroy tier 5s currently. That's good, I guess. What are you shooting at? Stop trying to commit war crimes against the remaining survivors. Come on. Come on, people. But yeah, it's you know, it's good enough for no! For now. Oh yeah, and also the engines are completely sealed off because I've always said if they get hit and they catch fire, there'll be no way to save them. I think this game just proved me a liar. Thanks, game. I hate you. Ah, oh, game. So let's go grab the supplies, move on to target number two, three, or whatever. One good thing about the uh, ships is because they're so much smaller and obviously modular, if they take hits and things, they can just carry on moving. Like, oh god. Uh, one of my ships there does, of course, only have one engine right now, which means it needs to go back to the mothership to repair. But now I can have motherships. Of course, right now my mothership is a badly designed carrier, but I could just turn that back into a big transport barge and bring in the Warmonger. The Warmonger is, of course, the war leader. Now, right now, it's not the best. It needs a lot more crew. As you can see, the engines are firing badly, missiles and so on. I've kind of got distracted. The Warmonger has been distracted. Because, of course, the frigate designs reign supreme. Stop trying to make love to it. Reign supreme. The only issue I'm going to have, of course, is the rear edge of these things are bigger. Like, this one's using a large thruster. The Raiders are, of course, using the huge thrusters, which is why they're being primarily targeted. The huge thrusters cost more and have a higher bounty mark. Because even, even on the sides, they're using more large thrusters. So, it looks like huge thrusters have a higher target percentage than lasers and e uh, disruptors. Which is a weird thing to say out loud, but that's just the way it is. It's just the way it be. Let's grab everything. Also, I was meant to be at a Comic Con this weekend. I went on Friday instead, wanted to see Ron Perlman. I don't really care about what people uh, believe, so I just like he was an actor. Turns out he was only there Saturday, Sunday. Guess who went Friday? Yes, indeedy, guess who went Friday? Met a lot of cool people, though. A lot of amazingly good artists. The Rick and Morty comic creator is there, too. I didn't even know that was a comic. Until, like, you know, way after I was watching the series. I was like, oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, you know, I read that now. Anyway, distractions, distractions. We need to deploy the fleet. Where do we deploy him? Actually, who's the pirate base? Is he a nine? He is. Let's go and have a look at the pirate base. Da, 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 da. Dead. It's got two markers on it. Looks like I can clear two bounties in one go. Oh no, it's one for the question mark, one for the pirate ship. So we have, what, three active ships, three active stations. Alright, simple enough. Simple enough indeed. 
If I can stop picking them off one by one, I'd be really, really happy. It might be that one. Can we touch it? Been touched. Okay, the hunchback is now engaged. It's Missily. It's Missili! Let's engage. There goes the turn. Actually, I've changed one of the commands, haven't I? Where is it? The gameplay. Uh, break formation to attack. Where is it? it? Requires control. Show advanced ship commands. Enable collisions. Or recall. Show blip. Show status. Where is it? There was an option here, so I could actually see what things were doing. So I could actually always control the enemy friendly ships as well. Prefer grid. Prefer relative follow angles. Fast. Face ship towards the cursor. I'll figure it out. Let's count the fight. Because otherwise, I have to go like this and just have them all marked. Okay, we're engaging. Mail gun hit. That's a shield take against multiple beams. Uh, it's actually holding quite well, actually. That's a shame. Okay. You hit the missile launcher. You take out the laser beam. Raiders going down. Infernium, pick off that. That. Okay, you should also be engaging over here. Do it now. Rails down. Raiders taking big hits. That's fine. Infernium still active. Okay, that's good. Switch targets. Good, good, good. Okay, Infernium switch targets again to that laser. Okay, you are going round to here. You're hitting that launcher. Reckless Warriors engaged. We are testing now. Push to there. Initial Raider is going down. This Infernium Raid Frigate is taking big hits on the side armor, which is why the armor is still kept. What have we got? Cannons, lasers, dibadoos. Okay, good. Looks like the third one is coming in. Okay. You're going to start pulling back up to here. You're going to start pulling back up to here. You are switching and retreating. You are changing targets to that energy based weapon system. You are pushing through to here. Okay. You are switching. You are switching. Okay. Straight through, straight through, straight through. You're taking a hit straight down the centre. You need to push and retreat. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Okay. This Infernium just lost the front weapon system. It's going. It's escaping. Okay, this Infernium has run away. These two are now in each other's way. This is losing armour and equipment. Okay, so yeah, we're seeing the issues with them. Which is why you need to do constant vigilance field testing. Now can still fight, but it's now sideways fight. That's fine. Do what you can. You two keep fighting. Okay, the beam is doing what it can. I'd like for that beam to push through to that side. I'd like for your beam to push to here and go round to there. Okay, good. Okay, got beam going off on this side. Good. I don't care what you hit, just hit something. Give it the pain. Pretty good. Okay, good. How are these two doing? This Infernium is still fighting. This Infernium is still fighting. We have obviously a loss here. Looks like we did not get the crystal. 
Okay, you are going to keep coming round here, and you are going to take out that shield generator now. That cannon is engaging. We've lost that beam. That's fine. We've lost two crystals on the front. Crystal production will be a problem. Okay, switch targets. That one's now priority. You can't go any further, you'll pull in the third ship. Okay, good. Push through, straight down the side. Okay, switch target, that's the problem. It has switched targets, that means this one has lost its priority murder. Okay. That's annoying, but whatever. Third ship has negative contact. I think it's stuck on an asteroid. We'll stick it that way. Good. This Infernium is still fighting. Good. That hunchback is down. Okay. So tier 6 and things we can fight in groups. We are taking significant damage though. That's fair slash fine. Main beam has no energy. That's surprisingly shocking okay I see an issue here they're actually charging the shields first which may or may not be needed actually there we go cannon is down sort of missiles okay that's surprising keep firing sixth ship involved nope okay this infernal frigate needs repairs this infernal frigate is still coming round on the rear with the gear Okay, I'm saying this is a success. It's not the best success, but it is in fact a success. Okay, you can't go any further that way. You will cause issues. Stay on this side. Pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. We can't pull in the third contact. Okay, good target dead. Push in. Kill that. Switch targets. Kill that. Switch targets. Kill that. Okay, perfect. I'm calling that successful. Not the best success, but it's a success. Yeah, it's not the best success, but it is a success. And now we need to repair, rearm, reload. Got one more thing to hit. Good, 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 good. Okay, everyone over here. Oh my god. The losses are... I'm going to say slightly catastrophic. Okay, I see what happened here. They took out the shield, the uh, generator. That's the problem with these things. The generator is at the front. Yeah, the generator is at the front. That's fine. We'll deal with that. I did say that if it gets to that stage, it'd be a problem. Okay, so that's just basically out of power now. That's fine. Uh, this one is okay. We are low on certain things. Okay, that's fine. Okay, testing has said yes. We did lose a lot of the front crystals. The shield gens, however, were highly effective. Absolutely effective. So that was a great test as opposed to, you know, supported by a bigger ship. Some losses. We were using five of them, so we did have a lot more money, I think, on the field. In fact, if I look at this thing here, how much did they cost, the things I killed? Always a good test. Uh, they were fringe combat. The things I killed. Where are they? Reckless Warriors 180k. Now. The Reckless Warrior is the same price as my ships. But they also use double the crew. So as you can see. If I go for a similar price but double the crew don't go for aesthetics. I could build something significantly more powerful. The way I do my ships, this is an important one, because people keep going, why aren't you building better? Is I build them to crew, not to price. I do, I build them to crew, not to price. That's very important. So I could have like a million credit ship, but only 10 people on it, and still count it as a basic frigate. Because I want to see how well I can do with small amounts of crew. Some people do price, I do crew. 
That's how I do things. Very important. Which makes mine high-tech frigates, I guess. Or corvettes. Anyway, let's go grab the supplies. Rebuild. Oh, crappity doodle. Crappity doodle. The carriage has been cut in half. 